Where have I been? Don't worry about where I've been. Because I haven't been too far. I've just been watching in the cut from the clouds and seeing my compatriots. Well, most of you have been behaving, but some of you, what will it take? What will it take in order to get you guys to get the message? I, and I know what's happening in reality. I'm just going to spoil it for you and say this. You all do know this is a smokescreen, right? This little pookie for ZL crap. It's a complete smokescreen if I've ever seen it. And for some of you guys, I, I wonder, but you know, I'm not going to get to that. We're going to talk about that in a future video. But in the meantime, you all really want to end this war? For those who are on the EL side, since I guess that's the majority of people who watch my channel, I'm not saying most of them are ELs, but most of the ELs tend to gravitate towards channels like this for obvious reasons. Nonetheless, I'm going to give you all a bone. A bone that seems to be long overdue because between the Kevin Samuels, Nicki Minaj slash future collaborations and everyone going to 180 on Nicki Minaj and Future. I mean, these same guys, I remember these same guys cooking the likes of Nicki Minaj and Future last year. But now they're talking about how, oh man, this, have you seen the set? It's set so good. And, and, and the lighting and the graphics and the four, and it's in 4K. I, I've been seeing that. I've been seeing these other guys who are basically trying to blame the Strag and Daggle into sleeping with them. But at the same time, we'll stop right at the point of putting that fatality move in and saying, It ain't your fault, sis. Uh, it's who gets for uh, We gotta bang them all. No, we gotta pow, 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 wheel them all. I line them up. Line them up. Speaking of lining up, it, it's either lining up pookies or uh, pulling up. On dubs to the daggle. Shout out to Ramil for that one. But yeah, look. And obviously, there's the perfect mix of blaming, shaming, and explaining. Shout out to Tai City for that one. And look, I'm I'm not trying to take a side. I know a lot of you are probably triggered and say, oh, you're taking Pookie, son. They're, they're Team Pookie. You know that? They're Team Pookie. They're, they're defending the Pookie. No, no, no. They're doing what. I'd probably do if I had more time on YouTube, honestly. But nonetheless, for all those who are still here and that you all want to bone, you really want to defeat Pookie? Do you really want to see what I see and do what I do? Well, I'm not going to go there, but do you all really just want to experience what I experience and just have a peace of mind? Or is that too boring? It's too boring, y'all. Look, man, why is he back on YouTube? He sound boring. He sound like calling, y'all. Man, I, I can't rock with him. Uh-uh. He, he, he talk too white, and he's too bland, and he's too uh, mayonnaise. No, man, I need some spice in my YouTube videos. They need no, I need no days abrupt. That's your problem right there, step one. A lot of you who complain about Pookie and Shaniqua and uh, Pookie's getting the Shaniquas. You're the same guys who admire Pookie culture. And by that I mean urban, lower class, sub, subculture. I mean, the hood culture is what you all admire. And it, I can see it. It's the same guys who talk about gang gang and nah, I mean, I'm just ninja. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Throwing out all those baby kid colloquialisms in one week, but in the next week, crying people like myself and others saying, you know, a, a pookie them, they, they them took them my girl, they took my girl, man, you on me, man, you on me. Drop the pookie talk. You want to talk about me being whitewashed? Well, guess what? I'd rather succeed at being a beach bum. And fail at being a street bum. And that's what a lot of you are aspiring to do. I'm just going to say, a lot of you are aspiring to be Buki just by the way you guys talk. And no, you don't got to sound as white as I do. No, bro. No, only I can do that. I'm Donald Trump. But 
a lot of you guys, I see it, and you a lot of you do subconsciously. So I can't really be mad at you for this, but drop the Pookie act if you want to defeat Pookie, huh? How about that? You're trying to play his game. You're trying to be swag, you're trying to be thugged out. And let's just be honest, a lot of the people who are out there, shout out to LAR movement for his Death of the Real Ninja series. Man, watch Death of the Real Ninja if you haven't seen it. And the follow-up because he really calls it down the line. A lot of these guys on the, I can't even call them street cats. These are boogies. A lot of these guys aren't even boogies. They're posers. They're freaking posers. And they did it for the clout or as they called it back in the day. They did it for the swag and honeys and, and the rep and the because they were too afraid to be alone. They were too afraid to socially stand out from the crowd. That's the reason why they did it. And you got these same guys in the other part, other side, talking about, well, oh, man, Pua, you need to get out of the way so we can get the spooky, man, spooky. You're bitching about guys who they themselves are too bitch made in order to get out, of the stand out of the crowd. Are you serious? Stop it. Get some help. Especially some of you warriors out there. Second, you guys who complain about Pookie. You want to defeat Pookie, huh? Leave the Pookie realms. And I keep telling you guys, I'm not saying go live in an all suburb or anything like that. I'm not saying that. But I am saying to stop playing in their yards. There are certain places that belong to them for the time being until they get gentrified. And to be honest, a lot of you guys aren't even willing to do that. I mean, I'd respect the guys who are like, you know what, I'm staying here because I'm playing the long game of getting them out and putting the good peoples in. Or if you're like me, turning the freaking place into, you know, SYSBM <laughs> Pleasanton. Pleasantville, shout out to Kiri Gakure Jones. Uh, but you guys aren't even trying to do that. A lot of you guys are just stuck where the Pookies and the women who love them and the other men who admire them around and where they host, where they stay. And a lot of you guys seem to have no plans on leaving anytime soon. Don't tell me how about how you live in this nice little cul-de-sac neighborhood where there hasn't been any sort of crime on your little block, but the rest of the city where you live, or the rest of the zip code you live in, is a pooky, daggle, and baby kid realm. So, and, and that's the other issue. A lot of you guys aren't trying to get out because a lot of you guys, and when I say you guys, I don't mean people who suck to me. I think you all should know that by now, but a lot of these other guys, I should say, they aren't right. They aren't trying to do the work. They are not trying to do the work. But, Leave the Pookie realms if you don't want to, if you really want to defeat them, if you don't want to deal with them. Third, stand, well, and I know, I'm going to preface this with saying this. A lot of you guys aren't ready to really do this, this third tip, because whenever you get the chance, well, we saw what everybody's favorite um, wannabe lead attorney did. It's your fault, sis. Uh, it ain't your fault. Uh. It's Pookie and them who, who... I don't want to hear it. And that just shows me right there. You are not ready to stand up to the daggle, to the strag. Let me preface this with saying that not all American BWs are strags and daggles. See, not having to deal with Pookie and the result of that gets you ABWs included who will cooperate. But I'll talk about that a bit later. You all who are on here, as Thai City says, blaming, shaming, and explaining, whether it's through damage controlling or wanting to argue with them or wanting to plead with them, just shows me that you all aren't willing to stand up for yourself. It's not even standing up just to be adversary and all this other kind of stuff. You aren't willing to stand up for yourselves. Or for all you guys who are somewhat willing, but don't have the balls to do it yourself, or just too lazy to do it yourself, 
you guys rely on heroes. Heroes like Mr. High Value Wine to do your job for you. And that is half the reason why he's making bank. And I don't blame him for it. It's because he is benefiting off the laziness of certain brothers out there who aren't willing to do the work themselves. It's amazing at this point. And, and, and a lot of these guys want to ride his coattails to me, and I get it. Well, I hope that Mr. KS, Mr. Kevin Samuels, ends up being your Bitcoin, or at least Ethereum. I really do. But the way things are looking right now, <laughs> you guys may have the damage control for the same thug and strags that you all roasted and called out and spent years on denigrating the image of how do you like that for apples and no i'm not just attacking the el side too because the real pookies i'm not even talking about the street cats but the real pookies are pissed off at ks poses a threat a threat of the bm image and what is considered the bm image because a lot of these guys on the real pookie side, the, the fake pookie side, I'm assuming there aren't real pookie value here, let's be honest. The fake pookie side, and I differentiate that from the street cat side, the Minister Japs, Ramils, the Thai cities, all the street cat side. But these pookies out here, oh, I'll even throw Grinch in the street cat side, or the former pookies out here. Street cat slash former pookies, Grinch, shout out to you too. I've been watching you and your good work. It hasn't gone unnoticed. But the the fake pookies, or the real pookies, whatever you want to call them, the, the, the real ninjas, as L.A.R. would say, a lot of these guys are threatened by the likes of Kevin Samuels, the lead attorney, others who threaten to change the status quo of what it means to be a BM. And a lot of them, well, they're basically pissed off because of the same reason that the so-called EELs are pissed off. It's because... He poses a threat to their punani supply. <laughs> but nonetheless, I will give the Pookies one thing that they do that the ELs need to start doing. And that is standing up to the Daggone Strag if you're going to deal with her. Which is why I say don't even deal don't even deal with her, dude. Dude instead of just being in the streets or want to be street life. I, I, I want to be loyal to the community, my sisters. And what well, have you guys were saying is can't go SYSBM or can't leave the community for whatever reason. And half of you are too afraid that your mama or someone who is like your mama or your auntie or your, or your sisters are going to cook you. What are they going to do? Cook you? Oh, boo hoo. Oh, oh they want to invite you to family gatherings and holidays and birthdays and all those other kinds of oh boo hoo just because you get someone outside the race which is the next solution or you get someone who is a bw but is not an ados as they call it or non fba whatever you want to call it these days okay so what and that's the thing a lot of you guys i think really desire to leave i'm not even saying leaving as in taking outside race but you don't want to deal with the strag you don't want to deal with the daggle you want to deal with a sister from wakanda or from south america or Car the caribbean all right cool you all a lot of you guys are crying because rihanna got knocked up by someone who is apparently not ados himself and i get it a lot of you guys are upset you're you guys pissed off and realizing, man, there goes my tropical island dream girl, man. Man, she got knocked up. Now I'll never be able to get a, a chick from the Barbados or Jamaica or the Bahamas and, and all this other kind of... Look, no, 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 dude. You can still get them. And yes, this beer flu stuff isn't helping things neither. I get it. Because if beer flu wasn't this bad at, in regards to traveling... A lot of you guys would have been ghosts. And I don't blame you guys. Even the guys who don't want to deal with the snow bunnies and the boba bunnies and the tequila bunnies. And uh, I get that. But this channel is for guys like them. So you got to sit back and deal with this little rant I'm going to do about 
men who are like myself and have marketed themselves so that they can transcend outside community. Because that's basically one of the best ways you can be, defeat Buki. Is you don't even have to deal with her, his girl. You don't have to deal with his girl. Or women who... Uh, yeah, you don't have to deal with his girl. Because let's be, let's be honest. If you're in the community, it isn't just the lower income strag or the corporate daggle that you got to worry about. If you're in the, if you're in the community, every girl... Is potentially Pookie's girl. And that's just how it is. The problem is that you're dealing in a rigged playing field. A rigged playing field, but I'm not going to discuss how it got rigged. I'm not going into WS talk and all this other kind of stuff. Not because I don't believe it, but because, okay, what has that done? You all say, all oh, WS this and uh, this, all, all that and, and the community this. Well, you know what? If you aren't doing, willing to do the drastic measures that it would take in order to overthrow the community and those who control it, I don't want to hear it. And I could tell you how, but uh, this, this channel will probably get too much attention at this point. We don't want that, do we? We haven't been getting a, a lot of attention for a while here. Why start now? Nonetheless, for those who want to enter in Pleasantville and enjoy the fruits of its labor, a.k.a. not having to deal with the strag, with the daggle, you know what to do. Improve yourself, improve your money, improve your social skills, and just build and focus on yourself. It's as simple as that. And also, get some friends outside the community. Build some social skills. And, and I emphasize the social skills because Solo and I, shout out to Solo, shout to Snow Bunny Sundays, we emphasized how many times on how social circle matters? Relationships is one of the most valuable currencies or assets you can have. Just as valuable as real estate, as stocks, as crypto, and perhaps even more because the right relationship relationships can get you even more of the aforementioned things. And also, it can get you choices of women who are not Pookie's girl, or even Brad and Chad and Tyrone's girl, or better yet, those relationships can get you girls who will consider you a Brad, Chad, or a Tyrone just because. Just because you worked on yourself. Or in some cases, you need to do that, but that's to those guys who can just be who they are and just sit in the couch and play video games and do, 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 do all that and, and still get chosen. I mean, you guys are the real winners. <laughs> but in any case, the last thing, and this is where I'm going to give. And, and you know what? Let me, um, before I say that, these tips, particularly, um, Getting someone outside the community, getting someone outside the race or the culture, this helps actually with ABWs as well. Yes, the ABWs, a few that they are, who are cooperative and are willing to be cooperative to a non pookie. How about that, huh? Yes, there are American BWs. Most of them aren't probably from the community, nor have that community mindset. That mindset. Who will cooperate and maybe submit to you. Now let's just stick with cooperation for the time being. And also, just as a side note, the further you get away from Pookie's realm, listen, listen here, listen here. For all you guys who are in, are in that space, shout, shout out to the um, B Manus here. The further away you get from Pookie's realm, the more cooperative. ABWs become. Really? Really, God? No, no, no. Last point. If you want to really defeat Pookie, what is Pookie known for, traditionally known for? I mean, a lot of them aren't like this today, but traditionally, a lot of people who defend Pookie will say, well, you know, Pookie and them, they've been in 
prison for eons and been, been doing football numbers and basketball numbers and uh, baseball numbers and they've had all the time to work out, right? Well, that's your first step. Get to the gym. Get that pookie bod. Or just get that ripped bod that you see in those muscle and fitness magazines, at the very least. And second, a lot of them will say, well, you know, and I, I guess a lot of gals have probably haven't been with guys who have been on TRT or steroids, but... A lot of these gals will assume that, well, if he's ripped, then he must have a big. What I'm saying is to be good where it counts. Be good in the sack. Make her do several racks. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Be good in the arena. The arena known. Yeah, exactly. Just, you want to go upstairs? Want to go over there? Want to go back? You guys. And, and <laughs> because here's the thing. All these chicks out here who are pissed off. I have to submit. That these gals. Aren't getting it where it counts. These gals are mainly pissed off because they aren't getting the good loving. I'm not even the big loving. They aren't even getting any loving. And a lot of these guys who are complaining, explaining, and all this other kind of stuff, well, you know what? Instead of trying to a, -A mod yourself, make yourself look more rough and tough and pooky, and trying to be um uh, freaking um. Mr. Simpler over there and, and talking about some HB9 winter or <laughs> HB9 rock removing and <laughs> removing as pooky as rotten. And <laughs> Instead of doing that, just tell your rocker world in the bedroom. That's all it is. And I got the money. And you don't have to dodge bullets and do all that kind of stuff to get the excitement. Because guess what? I bring the excitement in the bed. Once you get some real excitement in the bed. Once chicks get real excitement in the bed. A lot of them get pretty lazy to the point in which they don't even care to seek out drama anywhere else. Now you got some chicks who are just young and... So just seeking out drama for the sake of drama. You know what you do to them? You pump and dump them. There you go. Shout out to Mio again for the pump and dump. But those are the chicks you pump and dump. Now, chicks who just need a good lay in the pipe. Those guys. All you need to do is just put in the work. Put in the pound. Put in the pavement. And then you'll be alright. But then again, that also includes a some other things, including being direct. Um, yeah, we go into the, um, we can go into the game stuff. I know a lot of you hate the game, guys. Shout out to Ron Wills and Body Game. Shout out to freaking Alan Roger Curry. Same birthday, by the way. Shout out, trust me, I can't forget his birthday, by the way. So shout out to ARC and being direct instead of being indirect and doing all this other kind of amog and stuff see what we just saw there was a case of being in the rack if mr lawyer over there who by the way i mean you got a lawyer who's and that's the case case example right there i i gotta do a case example of this guy case example you want a guy you got a guy who has achieved everything went sysbm only to fall back to the community and yeah, but then again, I saw it on the wall where he was going to come back. And I'll say his name, Dennis Sperling. Because, quite frankly, what other lawyer do you know who's telling guys to go SYSBM but at the same time is getting into pookie activities like making their... Well, I can't call it pookie activities because the rap that he made was so... It was so, it was so cheesy, even for an R.E.B. song. And also alongside that, I mean, a reality show. 
come on, man. Are, are you trying to be an educated BM? Or are you trying to be a, a smooth pookie? I, and I'm not even saying this to rip him apart. But I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. And you know, I'm not going to even edit that in here because that will take too long considering how few views I get. So if you guys want some graphics and some views and some more videos like this, that won't be as long. Then you know what to do. And that's the other thing. A lot of guys who are crying and complaining, either you emulate Pookie in every way possible or when you have people who are supposed non-Pookies on Street Cats, you barely support them. Because they down boy, they down white. Well, don't complain when the real pookies take your girl. And then they give them back to you <laughs> to wipe them up. To make them a white wifey. Don't be mad when the Dom game division, shout out to see Boogie. Don't be mad when they pull the Dom game on your girl and throw them back to you with wet ass. Don't be mad. Just don't be mad. Because I've given you all the solutions, and I have yet to see one other individual take them verbatim, step by step, and just be done with it. That is how you can defeat Pookie. I know it took less than 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes longer than. My videos should take according to the algorithm and the attention span. But nonetheless, drop the Pookie act, leave the Pookie realms, leave the community, stand up to the daggle if you're going to deal with her, Get oh, uh, make yourself marketable to non-ABWs or non, yeah, non-ABWs, non-American BWs, or outdate outside the race. <gasps> Is he KSYSBM? He can't want to go I know it's Ben's week, but I'm crying like a boy. <laughs> and Mama, I'm not, I'm not smiling. I ain't trying to do no bad. Can you see me, Mama? I'm, I'm a KS Mama, so in case you see this, I, I ain't trying to get out. I'm loyal to my sister, man, mama. Well, you want to be loyal to your sisters, make mama proud. Then take something that looks like your mama. With your Oedipus Rex have central habit ass. And then bang the old bang bro sleep. I, I can't say the <laughs> F T H T S word. I'm not trying to demonetize this nonetheless there you go so i don't want to hear anything else about pookies els any of that stuff i'm not taking sides in this argument for all of you who saw the who watched the video from the beginning to the end nonetheless everyone else out there always bet on x